PDI session. Film 113, PDI video clip, take 475, action. Hi guys, I'm Dominic with Alexandria Camping Center and we're here today to talk about what a PDI is. A lot of people in the industry talk about what a PDI is and a lot of dealers even charge over and above the sale price, 500, 1,000, sometimes even more for this inspection. Here at Alexandria Camping Center, we do not charge such additional fees for a PDI. What a PDI stands for is a pre-delivery inspection. As a dealer, we are required by the factory to go through a standardized checklist from them to make sure we're turning over the best possible product to you as a customer. At Alexandria Camping Center, we go over and above and we actually have a five page PDI checklist, which is a little more detailed and covers a lot more items than the standardized list. Norm today is gonna to take you through what a PDI is. So I hope you really like the video. So a lot of units, when they come from factory, it does need some fine tuning. So there's a lot of items that we go through. Slide outs, awnings adjustments, tires to make sure there's no play in the bearings. The brakes are working good with the breakaway switch. The converter, that's all electrical to make sure it does charge a battery. Moldings, carpets, flooring, carpentry, everything like that you could think of in the trailer. So make sure you do have a good unit. So we have uh, propane appliances, very important with the pressure and leaks and all. So first thing we do before we start any appliances, we always check leaks. So we've got our gauge, our special gauge we put on this line and we pressurize the system and we check for leaks before we start any appliances, just to make sure. Once the leak test is done, we start every appliances one by one and check their function. On your main regulator, there's an automatic switch over device on top. This is crucial to have both tanks open. So when one tank drains, the other one will open automatically on its own. So your system is constantly running, not running out of propane. So we'll do the inspection in the bedroom right now. Hi, Norm. Oh, God, you scared me, Norm. What are you doing? When you open this, you have a lot of storage. That's beautiful. What's wrong with it? So the only thing I've noticed is that you were limited to getting access to all the storage. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate the shocks in this position. Sounds good. So it's much easier for the customer to have more access because there's a lot of storage you, you want to get into. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot better than uh, just having a small opening for the storage space you have. So once I'm done after this, I'll just make sure all the moldings are intact and it's, it's all good to go. Pretty good. Let me know how it uh, fares out when you're done. Yeah. Okay. We won't disturb you. I know you're a busy guy. A lot of inspections consist of checking moldings. If they're loose or anything like that, Checking blinds, windows, we try them all just to make sure that there's nothing getting stuck. A lot of times it's just little things sometimes. Chairs are loose, wobbly, but it's all part of PDI. It's best to go through first, so this way we got time. Not through your summer holidays. So as we go through, we check the lights, the electrical, ACs. That's another one thing that a lot of problems with it. There's no airflow. We have to take it apart, check for sure there's good airflow, there's no instructions in it. A lot of residues from whenever they built sawdust and that, so we got to clean that out to make sure. Then you go through cable-wise, satellite-wise. We've got water systems. Through your water systems, a lot of times your P-traps get loose. It's a travel trailer, it gets bounced around in that, so we once in a while, it's good just to take your hand and tighten them up to make sure so you don't have a mess. Another important part is slide out. They're all motors. They do take a lot of power, and a lot of manufacturers recommend to put a battery on the system so you don't burn your converter. Converter is only good for so much power, but overloading with motors takes too much. It's too hard on them. This is all your electrical panels. Every function we go through, make sure they all work good. Then we go back up. You got your thermostats, your fans, we try all the settings to make sure every one it works. Now we go into the bathroom and inspect things in there, you know. Oh, hi, Norm. What's up? You're in the bathroom now? Yeah. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you checking for? I'm checking for leaks on both sides of the corners. Why is it so important? That's a, a place that commonly leaks. Okay. So what we do, we take the hose and we spray the water on both sides. And then we've checked for for leaks around both corners. If there is leaks, we do seal all the edge. Oh, okay, I see. There's a lip on this shower, so basically the water should stay in, so you don't put silicone inside, because then it's got no place to go back in. Yeah, so when we've done the shower, then there's always the toilet after. So for the toilet, is when we put the water on, it's always good that we check at the back, make sure all the fittings are tight, and sometimes the vent could leak. So we double check to make sure there's no leaks on the vents. On the sinks, when we've checked for leaks, there's the P-trap, all the fittings. We make sure they're tight. 
and water fittings underneath. Now what happens is that when the water gets hot, the, the plastic expands, then it creates a leak. So we run the system and then we recheck to make sure all the lines are nice and tight. So this way on your delivery, we basically covered almost every spot that we could think of. We like to treat this if it's our own. We've checked all the moldings and everything, make sure it's all finished nicely. A lot of times what we have to do is look under because a lot of finishing when you're laying down, if you don't get under, you will miss. So we look under, make sure the finishing is real nice. A lot of things that we do that's very crucial is the roof. We'll go on the roof and check for voids in the ceiling. That's a major problem with leaks. I'm just fixing uh, some voids in the roof and a good way of doing this, whenever you see a void, it's a Dicor. That's a flow seal, the same product as they're using. So first, stick the tube, apply the tip into the void, and as you press, you're filling up the cavity. That's the most important thing. Once your cavity is filled, then you can circular motion, apply a little small bead on top. This breaks the air bubble. So this is how you fill your voids. It's always good to double check your seals. Every month, once in a while, have a peek around. Make sure there's no cracks or voids. If there is, reseal it before it leaks. Then we've got our, all the compartments. Once in a while, lube all your locks. They will jam up because it's just basic. So WD-40, any lubricant, just to make sure they work properly. They should work like brand new. We double check to make sure everything's in place. We take the panels apart. We check at the back to make sure there's nothing that's just dangling or cut. These uh, processes actually take multiple hours, so we didn't want to put you to sleep. We focused in on some of the key components and shortened it up as much as possible. So I hope you really enjoyed the video. Thanks for checking it out. Have a nice day. Thank you for what oh, I should sound like this. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe us on your YouTube video. Subscribe YouTube channel. Subscribe us on our YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe our channel. Our channel. YouTube channel oh oh subscribe <laughs> subscribe our youtube channel subscribe our youtube channel have a good day